I ended up in a partner uh, with the restaurant. It, took, it was a beautiful French restaurant. So a French restaurant. Yeah, French restaurant. That's it. The Japanese working in a French restaurant in New Mexico. New Mexico. It's, it New sounds Mexico. like a sitcom. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you should. Yeah, <laughs> you could make a lot of funny stories. I, I yes. Anyhow, I, I was working in a restaurant and then teaching karate for the hippies. Don't take any, any money, but you just come walk out. And then uh, several ladies, uh, uh, kind of young, beautiful American ladies. Mm -hmm. And so you could come. <laughs> so that's how it started. What's happening, everybody? Welcome. It's another episode of Whistlekick martial arts radio and on today's episode i'm joined by makio nishida yes sir. did i say your name right yes yes correct yes, awesome. yes all right thank you for being here we're going to start our chat welcome. in a minute to all of you out there remember whistlekick.com whistlekick martial arts radio.com for all the things that we do to support you the traditional martial arts of the world and today's episode is sponsored by Katara. i've got my Katara hoodie on yeah right, the Katara yes. family hoodie right, right? yeah they, they do they do a nice job and i've got my belts in the the cool belt bag that they sent this is this is the oh, belt Dexter that i wear belt. yes oh well. yeah they do a nice job on their on their belts right the, the whistle kick yes. the whistle kick belt that we uh -huh. uh, convinced them to make yeah so uh check out kataro k-a-t-a-a-r-o.com use the code wk10 for 10 percent off your first order and if you're watching this episode when it first comes out they have belts for breast cancer awareness and they're donating half the proceeds to breast cancer research so great company Check them out. wonderful thanks for being here you just told the best story and and <laughs> are, are they what order are these coming out do you know this will come at the week after September. okay okay so the last episode last week's episode if you're watching these in order with sensei andre tippett yes would you mind retelling that story you uh, <laughs> so so i i was here just making sure the gear was good andrew went to grab you from the lobby yes. and and that, you said right. there was a large man walking towards you right. take it from there <laughs> uh, that, is that the, 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 the tournament or the today yeah, today start today. with today yes i <laughs> I was talking to Grant, and the Grant, uh, and then we're talking. Grant, and Grant Campbell. Yeah, Grant yeah, Campbell. Yeah. Grant knew Andre Tippett, Mr. Tippett. He's from East Coast. Anyway, we we talking about the old days, and then I look up and I said, "That's not Mr. Tippett, isn't it?" And then, and then he said, "Oh, Andre, he he go over there." And then, he's, and then I'm looking up him, and then you're a little skinnier <laughs> but still that huge guy i remember <laughs> and you made the pulp out of me i don't think he remember uh, those days all days uh the senior division right now you have like a 35 45 or like a au or the uh, those people like a 55 65 and stuff so 35 and older is all senior <laughs> Senior division. I today, resent that, by the way. Yes. Yeah. And then today, 35, it, they are crazy fast mm -hmm. and then could do anything. And then anyway, so I, I, I'm in the old man division. I was like 40-some uh, years old. And then I saw him. I said, no, he's not coming into this division. <laughs> and then he is. And then I look at him. And so did you recognize him? Yes, I, yeah. Uh, those days I watched TV and then I loved him. He was crazy. Right? He's a great and player. Then, yes. So, so I loved him and I said, you can't be. And then, of course, I, that's after his, I'm not sure he's retired or he's still uh, praying. I'm not sure that time. But he's very nice, smiling, and then, and then I go on uh, <laughs> facing it. Uh, and then, and then, and then uh, of course, you know, I was there. So, <laughs> but, <laughs> well, of course, I lost, you know, to get to the, the, the things. But when he 
coming in, and then he was very nice, and then bow, we bow each other, onegaishimasu. And then in my, underneath of my tongue, don't hurt me, and <laughs> I have to go home. <laughs> I don't want any, well, I'm not worried, well, maybe as you know, most of the martial artists, they don't worry about broken bones because they deal with it all the time or fracture or the broken bones and then they put the cast and then they're practicing most of them so i was not worried about it but uh, you know uh, the word is a destroying but, but this is a man that you saw on tv you yes. knew what he was capable of i i, I would be yeah, terrified that's, yeah, yeah that's why that, that, that i thought he's like a grown hand <laughs> And then the, every he, he shook my hand when we were done. Oh, yes, and I, I, I think I grabbed one of his fingers. You yes, know, like yes, a small, like yeah. a baby I would do. Oh, yeah. oh, I yeah. felt one hand bigger, uh, and that was Lou Ferrigno's hand. Lou Ferrigno's oh, hand. Yes, yeah, yes, the Hulk. That, that yes, there, yes. So, and then uh, we shake hands, and that's gosh, <laughs> this is this will be the last day. <laughs> Entirely, I, I normally didn't, I didn't really scared of he's gonna, you know, uh, do something or whatever, but it's just the size, I, how are you gonna do anything? Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's like a, a little aunt looking up to the, the, the you know, bigger uh, things, and I said, I'm not gonna do anything about that. It's just like, impossible but it's okay i think you know when i come to america uh i was talking to grant uh, you know you and i almost like the same height but uh, i was a six three when i come and then, uh, <laughs> tough life in america make, make made, made me sh much shorter smaller and then I know he want to say something, and so I said, uh, "Yeah, just my ego is getting better, <laughs> bigger." <laughs> he started laughing. That's exactly you. <laughs> when did you move here? Uh, 1970. Why? So uh, that I graduate school, uh, the college, finished the university 1968, and then I'm those days of young kids. I don't know what to do. What, what I want to do. And then so I'm helping the band, so I'm doing the roadie, <laughs> crazy band. And uh, uh, also I was working, I, uh, through the high school, what I did is I remember just doing it in a karate and then working in a restaurant so I could make some money. Uh, so then I could spend it in downtown. My parents, uh, very strict people, so um, hiding and then doing those stuff. So anyway, my father asked me when I uh, graduating the university, and then what are you going to do? Do you know what are you going to do? And then I said, uh, I'm thinking. So he said, work for me at my company. So that's the last things I wanted. And so I have to find a job. <laughs> what did he do with his company? He has a shipyard company. So making the uh, kind of a yacht and then also the, the, the patrol boat, uh, fire rescue boat, not the big ship. Building. Building, yeah. right. So building company. And then you could do this. I never see me walking in. <laughs> so a uh, couple of years I'm walking and then that time there are uh, Vietnam War going on. So, and then uh, the little restaurant, like a, a club, I walk in, is it's nearby, Stars and Stripes, it's a newspaper company. And then, so, uh, I met a lot of uh, GI and then officers, and then I made a good friend with them. Uh, I'm not very really good at, with English, but crazy head I couldn't say anything so uh, <laughs> so um, so one of the guys said you know hey Makio why don't you, you know come visit me and then later someone told me you took those words literally they are just saying you know well come see me they all said that I said 
is it? <laughs> <laughs> and they, I didn't know. So I thought, I thought maybe, well, he is sincerely saying that. So he's a good, good man. So that's why I come to America and then I traveling around and doing, you know, a little bit of, uh, uh, because those days, uh, the beginning of yoga, meditation, karate, like a martial art. So they are all interested. And then so I said, oh, I know karate. I could do something. So that's how I traveling through. And then uh, in New Mexico, I ended up with a, uh, hired by a restaurant guy. So I ended up in a partner uh, with the restaurant. It's, a, uh, it's gone already, but it was a beautiful French restaurant. So, but a French restaurant. Yeah, French restaurant. That's it. The Japanese working in a French restaurant in New Mexico. New Mexico. Santa it New sounds Mexico. like a sitcom. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you should. Yeah, <laughs> you could make a lot of funny stories. I, I did. Yes, and then uh, uh, so, and and then. Uh, uh, Anyhow, I, I, I was working in a restaurant and then uh, teaching karate for the hippies. Uh, don't take any, any money, but you just come walk out. And then uh, several ladies, uh, uh, kind of young, beautiful American ladies. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you could come. <laughs> so that's how it started. So uh, then uh, from there, Somehow, when I was in Japan, you know, in Japan, you never think of I'm going to teach karate if you are normal students, mm. because you have to be something talented, mm. and then you have to be some sort of a presence, uh, also uh, kind of a lineage of. Mm. You know, they, they did in uh, high school, college or whatever, just like a football. So I don't have those things. So I never thought I'm the candidate or could make it in a karate world. And then also my sizes. Uh, the, the one episode, Masoyama, I don't know if you know him or not. Maso no, Yama is the Kyokushinka. But... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kyokushinka is the, the head. And then yeah. so uh, I went to talk to him before I come to America. Mm. And then so, so he did said... You know, uh, did you know him well? Uh, well, well, he, he is my teacher oh, okay. the, uh, right, uh, in Tokyo. Oh, okay. And then uh, main school. Uh, my sister wanted me to go because uh, her son is a delinquent so i have to take him too <laughs> but anyway so uh so i went to uh, uh say goodbye to him and then i'm going to america I said nishida what are you going to do over there said, well um currently i find a job well that is when i first come back to japan and then but that i'm gonna live there and then uh, and then maybe uh uh, walk and then walk out something uh, mumbling about that. Mm -hmm. And then my father behind me and said, Oyama sensei, I think my son open, want to open the dojo. <laughs> and then he looked at me and then said, what? Nishida, are you joking to your father or are you going to open the dojo said uh, well I, I i was thinking <laughs> this is what i i was thinking it's like a friendly circle <laughs> of a karate people nishida one thing i'm gonna tell you right now don't fight with americans they kill you <laughs> <laughs> i never forget that but they kill you he said three times and then he talking another thing and then he said, did you remember what I said? I said, yes, sir. They killed me. <laughs> and then before I was leaving, so I said, I will, I will see you again. And then uh, please, you know, take care of yourself. And then Nishida, you better come back. Otherwise, they're going to kill you. <laughs> and he was serious. He, yeah, he was very serious because 
he remembers that the fifties he come to this country and go through like a wrestling, you know. So he tried to make money, and、uh, and then that time right after the World War Two, so they they all go against,、yeah. and then they they put the name ring name. First they put the name Tojo, but that that the general you know who. Killed a lot of American soldiers. <laughs> yeah, so, so, and then the someone coming in and say, you know, Tojo's name, maybe they kill you. Why don't you change the name? So, so they 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 change the name to the Togo Brothers. <laughs> Three guys, two Hawaiian, one Japanese. Well, you know, he's a Japanese Korean. Anyway, <laughs> they go through. They must have. A, Crazy time, and then、uh, I listened to his story so bad that the, the, one of the well, he got the, such a short temper, so somebody didn't do something bad, so he lost it. So the other two tried to break him up. He was not, and then so thousand people waiting outside of the cruise, <laughs> <laughs> and, and then he said. First time, Nishida. First time, I have to hide and then almost crawling from the back exit, <laughs> and getting into the car because they said they're gonna kill you. You you gotta leave right now. And then he, so that story I heard. So so he 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 remember all those things and then he seeing you know this, this smart Alex skinny kids. You're not gonna make it. <laughs> It, it you know it makes me think about the stories of him fighting a bull and, yes, and yes, a bull、yes. sounds tame <laughs> compared to a thousand people angry yeah, it, after a wrestling match. Oh yes, so so that's that, you know that that's why he said he was really coming up from the table and said Nishida, are you really? <laughs> yeah, because he knew I'm skinny puke, and then one of the the. the Uh, teacher from Kyokushin Kai coming from uh, uh, Japan is it's all big big men, Oyama Sensei and then all、mm. those people. So Miura Sensei, then, so、uh, I'm nobody. I, I'm really nobody. So I said,、uh, Sensei, I'm not gonna use the Kyokushin's name. So just let me practice with. Said,、oh, okay, don't fight. <laughs> <laughs> So, so that's the the,、uh, the time I I met、uh, met him uh, uh, several times after that, and then he kind of、uh, smiling and said, "Are you still doing part time? Part time?" I said, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, "It's like a friendship、uh, walkout."、Mm. So he said, "Stay that way." <laughs> What? Yes. You 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 said something about why you started training your was it a, your sister's child?、Something、yeah.、Like、well,、that? actually, what did happen is I was a very puny kid, and then uh, uh, my sister is six years older than me, and so I have、uh, really no, no one. You know, taking care of when I grown up, except my mother. My mother is very sick at、mm. that time, very weak. I think. And, well, after that, she lived with me for twenty some years in America、oh. after my father died, and then she lived until ninety eight. So she was very,、oh. yeah, very, very good health after that.、Uh, anyway,、uh, so downtown, and then downtown, everybody's like, that's cut. Down, downtown, downtown、where? Tokyo. Tokyo, right? Downtown Tokyo. It's a it's a real rough area, and then、uh, I'm the only one who has longer hair, and then、uh, so that, that everybody said, "Hey, girl, <laughs> girl," and then also、uh, my parents、uh, a lot to do with the、uh, church and then Christians, and then my mother used to be a, a kind of secretary and uh, uh, for the the, the、uh, English.、Uh, Uh, minister and、mm-hmm. such, so they kind of give us a lot of、uh, clothing and then stuff. So that, that the many of clothing different color and then you know the downtown boys buzz cut never use you know the little T-shirts and then that's it. 
So, girl, girl. And so they picked on me, and then I was so... Uh, only I could do is cry, so then they, they leave me alone. So, uh, uh, so my name is Makio, right? And then Naku or Naki means cry. Mm. So they, they call me Nakio. <laughs> yeah, the boy, yeah, crying boy. So I am so kind of, I have a bad temper too, but it, it's, I just don't want to be that way. And then, um, so somehow, again, my father find the Oyama Dojo, Sanzimasu Oyama Dojo, so throw me in. So that's how, we, how I started. And then I'm still telling my, this is my uh, student, I have no athleticism. So, and then I did later find out my father is a, a really scared person, so he can swim, he mm. can ride bicycle, rarely. So he didn't teach me, he doesn't play any ball game or baseball, so I can do any anything. And then also he just can't teach, so he just ignored it. Mm. So until maybe fourth grade, I be able to ride a bicycle. Swimming is like a maybe sixth grade. And in a public bathhouse, I try to swim, and then my friends help me. And so, so I was a really, really, uh, don't have any uh, athleticism or, uh, so that sense. So I can, bunch of kids play baseball. I can hit, I, I only remember I hit one time. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I remember. I always swing out. Uh, nothing really can do. Uh, so I thought I like to do something. And then uh, nearby my uh, house, there are Okinawan guy uh, who has a little space like this space with his uh, rented place. So he started teaching karate. Mm -hmm. So I went to see, and then I see my neighbor or somebody was doing it. It's scary those days, you know, Okinawa Karate, but I was looking and said, hey, Makio, what are you doing? Oh, I'm not looking at it. I said, you want to practice? So, so that's how it started. And then later, uh, my sister overheard about Masoyama. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course, you know, she want to be, uh, her son to be a little bit more straight up because he's a delinquent, he's, he's so bad. <laughs> so I have to watch him because of he's not going to sneak out from the dojo. And so that's why. I, and, and, and then, yeah, this is the kids uh, uh, going to the swimming class. He washed, uh, he didn't go. He go over there and then wet his uh, swimming trunks and then a cap and then, then bring it back and then, mom, I'm home. He's playing around or some, somewhere else. And then, but uh, he started it. I really liked it that time. Uh, it, it was scary. Mm. School is scary, but uh, I thought maybe I should be in that phrase to make myself to be a little bit more available for help myself. I, I'm good, as you know, I'm good with this. <laughs> I'm good with talking. So I talk out, the, the, most of the times I'm uh, okay with it, but the, the, physically I am really, really uh, scary kids. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, uh, even in the karate, just like uh, Oyama Sensei said, don't fight because he knew I'm such a coward. <laughs> what was it like trading with him? I, I mean, uh, it, he's very well, as uh, old, uh, uh, typical Japanese uh, teacher, they're me. 
It's all the stories I've heard yeah, are that he's uh, mean. They're mean. Yeah, they're mean. They show temper. Uh, he has a good heart. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the, he always tell you, you know, how weak you are and <laughs> reminds you. So, uh, but uh, the, uh, he liked it, my nephew. Uh, so, and then he only had the daughter. So he said, uh, uh, he was uh, asking me, I said, Nishida, ask your sister if uh, I could adopt him. And then my sister said, no, no way. <laughs> <laughs> but but that, that, that's another, you know, one of the episodes I remember. And then I'm getting the very busy uh, high school and then such. So uh, then, you know, I uh, uh, helping on the local uh, Kyokushin is spread it out. So uh, school and then such. Uh, so at uh, that time, he just built at the four-story building and the big building and then downstairs. The basement as a dojo and the second and third floor is dojo. Fourth floor he was living. Uh, but it is scary. Everybody is so serious. There are no joke. Uh, Which must have been hard for me. I, I'm guessing you have always had a sense of humor. Probably yeah, came yeah, from yeah, home, yeah, so that, that, that must that, have been yeah, that, that's right. tough. So, yeah, it, it, it is. So, um, uh, the, uh, I liked the, the uh, kind of, a, uh, I don't know how to say, military like, you know, mm. straight. So like, you know, all those are the, he has uh, in-house students. So, which is, you know, they living in dojo and then they clean and then they uh, practice just a little bit, but then they always standing in the dojo and then front of them. Uchideshi? Uchideshi. Uchideshi. Yes, yes. Uchideshi. Yes. So, so uh, they are always, you know, uh, scary when you mm. when they are standing and then they just look at you. Everybody coming in, and then so and then also you know you have to bow to everybody and then it, it is. Uh, 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 but uh, perhaps that the uh, uh, what, what I like is that the uh, uh, it's almost like a strict law and then. Uh, just practice. <laughs> uh, only one thing I was thinking about, you know, what what do I remember? But, uh, uh, one of the things is that uh, uh, the committee, they, they do committee every day. And then, uh, so, and then, uh, no hold bars. So, uh, so uh, anyway, so I, I'm a skinny, and then you know, try to go back it up and square. I, I I took a lots of roundhouse kick, but that is that is the, that is the kick. That is the one kick. I didn't wake up for I don't know for how long, maybe 10, 20 minutes or so. But wow. those days, you you know, you just so so right you down. went from the streets of Tokyo where they were making fun of you. Yeah. And your solution was to go to karate, yeah. where they were knocking you out. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Big mistake. <laughs> That's my life. <laughs> so, so, so I. <laughs> so uh, one day, I was. Uh, I remember well, again. You know, we are committed. Uh, and then, uh, all of a sudden, I wake up, and then I'm, I'm on the floor. And then everybody cleaned the dojo. Everybody have to clean the dojo after the finish the school, uh, the class. So, so oh, it's already uh, no. The first things I said, I said, who do I fight next? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'm, I, I was still in the committee <laughs> class. So where is my line? Because I was back there. So, oh, where is? <laughs> And then they laugh at us. He stopped, clean the floor. Oh, everything is us. Oh, and then so I'm looking around, everybody watching the, you know, the floor and then go with, with towels and going running 
down and the Quran him back. And I said, no. what happened to the cross? Yeah, it's over about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> you were sleeping. <laughs> they don't care. I just, <laughs> I said, so, so sorry. Get up, quick. <laughs> That's that's that. I, I think you know what I think that is a better example of Kyokushinkai than the stories I've heard about Oyama. <laughs> right? That, that I, I I've never heard anything like this. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> but did yeah, it so, did it work? Did it did it make you tough? Yeah, yeah. It, it, so what did happen is I think this is a normal thing that will happen, and then. These are perhaps it's not only happened to me because of what I am or who I am. Because there are no, uh, well, like, you know, mean senpai, you know, senior students and the mean senpai and then those people, they mean to you. But uh, those mean one goes up there and then the upper classes, they're going to be mm. triple means to them. And then they, they just toy them around. I said, okay. <laughs> so I, I, so that, that, you know, I thought I am, uh, uh, even I'm a very weak, puny kid, but I have an attitude, which is later on that I thought perhaps that helped me to survive this country. It's not I'm going to get you or anything, but that I can take it. Mm. Uh, I think uh, maybe I could uh, uh, live with this. And then this is maybe better than 20 minutes on the floor. You don't remember anything <laughs> compared to. Uh, so, yeah, yeah that, 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 that karate help to me is, I think, uh, biggest thing is size doesn't matter i thought uh i was thinking you know well of course i'm short for the japanese too everybody's taller than me and then i'm always thought about it and then you know but uh, i think it's the same things mm. so i remember what well, first job i got is a bus boy in Santa Fe, new mexico that's the restaurant later on. I was uh, the, becoming a partner, but uh, and then a lot of things happened. Anyhow, uh, one day there are se several uh, episodes. Well, there's a bunch of episodes because there are those days bar is something else. Mm. So there are lots of fight, and then uh, uh, first time I didn't think of anything. I thought you know those that I I have to be. Uh, very loyal to the, to the owner. Let's let's protect. Mm -hmm. So I jumped in, in in the middle of it, and then <laughs> this is the funniest story. I only saw their belt buckles, those cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> and it's right on that on that, and then I, I look up. Oh. <laughs> The over my head, they're punching each other. There's a theme here: <laughs> yeah, cowboys, football yeah, players. Right. <laughs> I I never forget. I only saw is a belt buckle, <laughs> like the, those belt buckles right here, <laughs> right here, and then they're punching. <laughs> I'm no use. And then next time. <laughs> I was chasing somebody drinking and then didn't pay and then got the scold from my owner. Mm. Uh, don't chase anybody because outside you never know what they're carrying. <laughs> was there yes. it, the, the timing here? Yes. Was this, was, there was still a decent amount of prejudice. Uh, yes, it, it is. It is. So uh, it is very interesting because uh, uh, Santa Fe is about 40 miles or so uh, south of the, 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 uh, uh, Los Alamos. Mm. And then Los Alamos is the one made the uh, atomic bomb. And then the Dr. Oppenheimer and then his son, 
dine with the restaurant so that, that everybody coming in and they said, you know, uh, if, if you have anything to do with that or have, a, you know, something go against them, you don't need to do anything. Or someone coming in and then, yeah, there are, you know, uh, Vietnam war going on. And then, uh, so uh, lots of uh, Korean war veterans, uh, uh, World War veterans still there. So there are some uh, prejudice. Mm. But uh, uh, fortunately, I don't have most likely, uh, and then I ignored it. Mm. I ignored it uh, because it's no use to. Uh, perhaps I'm becoming a little bit uh, <laughs> matured or something. Uh, but but the, the, then they come to Texas uh, on the 80s, mm -hmm. and I start uh, doing some of the tournament back again. Uh, I Now, I've heard, and, and yes. I, I don't know as much about the 80s, but I've heard in the 70s, yes. tournaments in Texas were... A different sort of tournament. Oh. They were difficult. They were rough. Oh yes, it's so. When I moved from, like you know, towards the end of the the eighties, seventies, when I went there, oh, it is, it is, it's a war. And mm -hmm. then uh, uh, I, I still uh, see those people, <laughs> crazy people, and then. One day, I, I still remember that, that uh, only, no, maybe not only one time, but I lost it because the, some guy, because I scored clearly, and then he got mad at me. Mm. And, then, and then also he lost. So, and then referee said, Yame, or the stop. And then so I, I dropped and then turned around, mm -hmm. he punched me. And then uh, uh, one thing I never liked it is that the, the cheap shot. Mm. Uh, so I totally lost it, you know. Said, you, you said know. you have a temper. Yes. Uh, yeah. And then that time I went all out and I go after them. And then I still remember just like big man, uh, big black guy. He coming in and said, Hey, Michael, don't, 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 don't do that, don't do that. I climb up on him. Mm. And then I said, no, no, no. And then I climb up and go over his head. And <laughs> touch him. And then, because of his standing right middle, the other guy can teach me. I was going on the top of his head. And... You were finally taller. Yeah, yes, absolutely. You had the uh, high ground. Yeah. Uh, that's the only things I can remember, <laughs> and a good memory of tournament. <laughs> so, how long were you in Texas? Uh, I've been there in Texas for uh, since nineteen eighty two. Oh, you're still you, you still live in yeah, Texas. Yes, still living okay. in Texas. Yes, yes, and still teaching. Yes, still teaching. Yes, are I, you allowed to call it Kyokushin now? Uh, no, I. I decided to that the Kyokushin Kai. Well, of course, you know, later on, those days, when I was start uh, doing, uh, the Kyokushin's name is only my school name. Well, it's interestingly, uh, Sensei Oyama died. Mm. Three, four, five Kyokushin. Quite a few organizations. Nine. Yeah, there. now it's more than that, I think. So, but the, uh, I honor the, the uh, the name of uh, uh, Kyokushin mm -hmm. as, and then also Oyama Sensei said, ah, oh, okay, Nishida, right? That, that's the only he said is don't fight with those guys. Mm -hmm. That's all he said, but that's his okay. I thought that he's okay, mm -hmm. I could teach, but that I never asked him to, you know, can I teach as a Kyokushin Kai? Because uh, also uh, another thing is, uh, uh, Oyama Sensei is, uh, quite economical mm. <laughs> advanced guy so uh, so so that's why in money it come into the money it's going to be a uh, lots of problem because but the interesting part is 
students knew, but at the very last part, they don't want to pay. And then I think, you know, he had a little bit of hard time. Then after that, because of that, they spread out. So that's unfortunate. And, uh, but uh, uh, I still go to the tournament, uh, watch or the, one of my old students, uh, well, he come temporarily work in uh, America and then he's a, a Kyokushinkai student. So he's back there, he's teaching. So I, I still have the, some connections, but the, the, not really any closer. And then also, uh, I don't really advertise as Kyokushin Karate. And then uh, Kyokushin Kai has a school down in uh, Dallas. So I'm Fort Worth. I think uh, he had some uh, 10 years anniversary or whatever the anniversary. Uh, he already asking one of my students if I could come honor him. So uh, it's nice of them to include me on that. Mm. Uh, but uh, the, uh, as in the uh, uh, name of the Kyokushin, uh, or even Kyokushin style, I don't normally use it. Mm. But is that what you teach? Uh, Kyokushin karate, um, well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that uh, Kyokushin karate has uh, their merit, mm -hmm. and then the way they do it. Uh, but uh, the, uh, I think there are more than fighting, and then uh, more than uh, above and beyond world is there. I'm not saying Kyokushin is limited, because uh, many of the Kyokushin guys are teachers, they, they are good, mm -hmm. and then they are all together. So, uh, and then I think, you know, that, that uh, perhaps I, it's not my own style, but uh, uh, I uh, accepted that uh, many of like, uh, uh, like uh, for example, Uechi Ryu, uh, Okinawa Goju Ryu, uh, also uh, Shito Ryu, uh, those people. I went to the many students or I welcomed them mm -hmm. to come to my class and then uh, teach for or, uh, so that, that everybody has their offer. And then also the, the, the uh, beauty in it. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, you know, I can't learn it or take it, but at least I could see. And then also that will be my goal, to become uh, living as in human and then also a teacher to helping as in human and then a teacher or practice as in human. Uh, uh, it helped me. It's a lot. So that's why I started at Tai Chi 30 years ago. And uh, so uh, I teach Tai Chi and uh, Karate. It's a two opposite and then same thing. So, so same thing. So that's what, that, that's, that's so far. Mm. What, what I, yes. What I'm hearing you say about Karate is you teach karate, yes. where so many people, I teach this yeah, type I of this style yeah. of karate. Right. And and I get questions, we, we've talked about it on the show, yes. with my school. Right. What do you teach? I teach karate. Right. Yeah, but what kind? <laughs> that's right. Karate. Karate, yes. yes. And that's kind that, of what I'm hearing yes. you say. Right. That, that's exactly that, that you know, uh, I, I think... Uh, Karate has that, that origin, and then, you know, there are uh, families and mm -hmm. then such. And then yet, uh, I think, you know, every time they have some brilliant ideas and then uh, respect it, you know, and then that is inclusive. Everything is inclusive. And then Maso Oyama, yeah, he did judo. And then, you know, he did, you know, karate, he did, you know, boxing, he did wrestling. So, so uh, I think, you know, whatever it work, uh, use it. It seems to be rare yes. that any of the martial artists that we celebrate that started a yes. style yes. or anything yes. Yes. only trained in one thing. They yes. all trained in a number of different things. Yes. 
And I, I, I think some of us miss that right. today. We, we forget yes. about that. Well, Oyama sensei made yes. Kyokushin, so I should do Kyokushin. Right. But if Oyama was born today, right. he would also do other things too. That's true. That, that's uh, the, you know, one thing interesting, you know, all his talking, what I learned is he met Chinese teacher, he met Korean teacher, he met American wrestlers, he studied. Yeah. And then boxing, so he studied everything. And then, you know, of course, you know, for his uh, business, he said, I'm it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the karate, you know. Yes. Yay. <laughs> but uh, the, I think, yes, you are, you are very right. I, uh, just like, you know, I come to, uh, uh, this is the second year they invited me and then come practice with them. And which uh, you has a lot to offer. And then, uh, so. And these are great people. Oh, yeah. And they're wonderful. I think, you know, it's a lot to do with that, you know, that's the way they teach. And it, it's very rare. Yes. Yeah, as you know, yes. in the Karate yes, that's world. That's why we're, we're so excited to be here and, yes. and be involved. Yes. And, uh, you know, th thank you to the Weichiru, Weichiru Butokukai for thank having you. us and, and, and Marcus and Sensei and, and oh, yes. Durkin Sensei for, for inviting us. Just that never, never been in. No egos. So that's, uh, you know, what do you do? Oh, is this how you do? And then, you know, they all try. And then, you know, uh, white belt or the black belt, same way. So that's how they, you know, it, it's just incredible. So I, I was just taking a Christian Bond <laughs> classes. And then, you know, this, this kid, he tries so hard, brown belt or so. And I, I, I can't do this. So. Don't worry about it. that's why you're here. That's why I'm here too. And then, you know, everybody get together and then doing that. This is beautiful. And uh, I, I think, you know, oh, like uh, the uh, Grant said, and I see those people, they're always sharing something in, in, in the beautiful uh, community. I, I think it's in, and I think that's an important thing because, yes. you know, um, we've, we've had both. Yeah, of the Dirk, right. Buzz and Judy on the show. And right. One of the things we talk about, I don't know how much you know about this, but yeah. they look, their school is in a very small area right. and they have a lot of students. Right. Why? Because they treat everyone really well. It's that That's community, right. Right. community first, training That's second. Right. Yeah, it's it's like, you know, one day I was there and then they said, uh, uh, small community and 20% or 30% of them are their students, right? I said, yes. <laughs> yeah. what, a, what a concept. So if you treat people well. They, that, they... That's right. That's right. They are, so no egos. Uh, and then uh, this is something, you know, I learned uh, that, that uh, especially uh, come to America, uh, that, you have to show ego first. <laughs> so in, in a lot of places, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah right, unfortunately. Yeah, but, but, but you know, uh, so uh, the Wichita people, they listen to you, and then also they share with you. This is what we do, uh, and welcome you uh, very well. I really enjoyed that. It, it, it seems to be, because I've, I've, I'm sure just as you have yes. trained in a lot of places with a lot of people, yes. I notice that attitude more with schools that are Okinawan uh -huh. than Japanese. Oh, yes. yes. Would you, have uh, you seen that too? Yes. Why? So, any any uh, ideas? Yeah, I think, well, uh, and then, then another thing is uh, Okinawan karate, they take care of you, they take care of you as a family. But not necessarily, they're thinking about how to make it bigger, how to make it uh, profitable. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, also that, the, the, uh, yes, Okinawan people are a little bit different, but the, the, they're taking that as, uh, oh, what do you say? Uh, 
lifestyle maybe. Mm. And then in Japanese, uh, they want to be a teacher, they want to be a leader, and then then here we go started with egos and then structure. Then, yeah, that structures and then uh, uh, they tell you what to do, what to say, how to say. Uh, so, and then, you know, I saw a uh, big breakout from the Kyokushin, and then here we go. Ego is there. They take the ego, and then they start, right? <laughs> so, so uh, I bet by now all the Kyokushin people hate me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I bet there are some out there that feel just as you do. Yeah. You know, that's yeah, one of the things that I've learned from from us doing this show is that yes. there are a lot of quiet people yes. that think the same. And there are many of the quiet people that think a lot of these sorts of things. Yes. And it's the ones that we assume are the majority yes. are just loud. Right. It is. It is. And then also uh, they're going to a totally on the opposite way of, you know, art owner. And then the heart, no such a things. Business first. So, and then, you know, if you taking care of the people and care about them, it's, never, it's not gonna happen. It's supposed not to happen. Uh, and then, but the, the, what about me? And so, and then I think that, that another thing is uh, too much of the winning, I think. Uh, the martial art uh, is it's not for the winning. Winning is, you know, you complete your life, be owner, you know, with honor and then with care and then with a good heart. And then, and then that's uh, missing from that. And then uh, what else uh, left is the ego. And then that's awful. Uh, so that, that many times uh, people coming in and uh, let's do this business. Let's do this. You could do this, uh, you know. And then why you are, you know, still have to work? Mm -hmm. I said, well, this is my uh, retirement. I said, <laughs> <laughs> so this is my retirement. And then yesterday, I was telling my students and say, how long you, you know, you're going to do? Everybody is, you know, retired or whatever. And then I said, uh, uh, ten more years. So I'm seventy-seven. So 10 more years, and then uh, uh, the, the, the sensei yesterday uh, said, uh, I'm 87. <laughs> I, I, I could go for it. <laughs> and then he's weird. But what know, would you stumbling. do if you stopped? Yeah, that's right. Right. And then I don't know what to do. Uh, and, and then so, so people ask me, what are you going to do, you know, if you quit doing it? Well, you coming in here and then walking out, and then I'm walking out with you, and then I'm practicing, and then I'm still learning. Uh, what else? <laughs> and so in that sense, uh, I am a very, very lucky man, very lucky man. And then I think, you know, I'm very happy, man, uh, because of that. And then uh, something to live with, and you know to go with and follow with, and then also that the, you know your health, your heart, body, and then, you know your heart. So have to be good to the heart. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, that uh, I like. I was doing a Dalai Lama's bodyguard when he came here. And then, uh, so I was with him for five days. And uh, he said, all you need is a good heart. Good heart. So that is your religion. Mm. So, and then, you know, I never forget that. And then he is so wonderful person. And then uh, I was thinking all, all, all the time, if something happened, I don't think he need a bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> you will I, be. I, I have to admit, I was a little surprised when you said that you were the bodyguard. But yeah, you know. yes, that's right. So, mm. I, so I said, you, you, you don't need to worry about. And then, and then, in the very last day, uh, at the airport, I was crying, you know, because you know, please don't go. And he hold my head and then, thank you, my friend. How can you say that? Mm. My friend. Mm. So, and then you, you, you know, I was crying, and then you know what? I, I, I won't stop my talking. Oh, I'm not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 your mother. <laughs> my friend. <laughs> so, so I, so I thought, you know, that the, the giving. And then also that, you know, always, you know, feeling of the people's goodness. Uh, I learned it, you know, through karate. Mm -hmm. And then uh, through tai chi, through martial art. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so this is, you know, enriched my life. So then I, I was watching that, that uh, especially the school, mm -hmm. which you do, everybody happy. Mm -hmm. Everybody greet you. Mm -hmm. Everybody talk to you. No ego. And, and 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 then said, well, <laughs> yeah. We, we, Andrew and I have talked about this yes. quite a bit, that it, it is the largest group yes. we're familiar with of great martial artists, yes. great, great heart. Yes. You said. So, so they're not coming. I said, you know, what do you want to know? <laughs> or do you know me? <laughs> if you could go back, let's say behind yes. that door was a time machine. Yes. And you could go back to before karate to, did you say they called you Nakio? Yeah, Nakio. <laughs> you yeah. could go back to Nakio. Right. What would you tell him? Oh, you know, this is something I was thinking about. And then especially lately getting old. And then so looking back on that, I said, you know, you did it. You know, you made it. You don't think you're becoming like this crazy person or standing up somebody and said, you know, what can you do? <laughs> so uh, I, uh, yeah, I really uh, miss that, that the young, uh, uh, gentle, uh, hard kids. Mm -hmm. And then, but that I have to give uh, a little Nakio-chan, <laughs> uh, they pat on the back and then, oh, you know, I want to hug him. And they said, you know, you made it. You, you, you did good. And uh, you're a crazy person, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> maybe you are not that bad person. And then I didn't grow up with, you know, bad person. I have, you know, my friend, the childhood friend, he made a lot of money. And then, you know, he, uh, he died uh, several years ago. And then... Uh, uh, I miss him, and at the same time, what he did is not really good. Mm. You know, that, that how he made the money or how he did that. Uh, or, and then, you know, I go over there, and then, you know, his sister coming in and said, Mr. Nishida, do you know what my brother did? I said, oh, well, yeah, I kind of heard about it. Oh, it's a terrible story. And they took all the, the, the uh, inheritance and then didn't share anything. Mm. And and then, you know, and then he was the, the, the volunteer fire chief. And then, you know, he was a kind of ordinary job. And then, wow. Mm. And then I thought, at least I didn't live like that. Mm. And then I felt so bad about him too, how he can live like that. Mm. So... Uh, that sense, I, I thought about it in, in certain regret uh, that, that uh, perhaps I don't have a retirement. I don't have a, 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 a holiday vacation mm -hmm. uh, or uh, I don't go uh, uh, exotic places or whatever or big house or no worried about money or anything. I live day to day, and then, but uh, you know, uh, I thought about it myself very lately. This is good 
because uh, if I could handle this, and then I did, and then uh, this long, and uh, I still have my dojo, and then I still have my students, but not I have those, but I have this karate in my heart, mm. and then the practice in my heart. Uh, th that's really, really never think of that much of because that was so much part of my life. Mm. So I thought that this is the life I need to. But I have that, that such a great uh, joy and appreciation. Uh, so I have to thank karate <laughs> for how I, you know, made my life. Mm. Mm. So that that's you know uh, uh, I could say because yeah that little kids you know crying all the time <laughs> and then that kids uh, I have to tell him you know you did a good job <laughs> uh, you know you. Of course, you know, I did a bunch of crazy and bad stuff. <laughs> but, but, uh, so, so besides that, <laughs> besides that, I said, you know, you did good. I, I have to give him a, a, a good A plus, I think, in, in that sense. Did you say you were in Fort Worth? Yes. So if anybody might be in the audience that's in, in that area of Texas, you, you yes. have a website? Uh, yes, yes, I have. What's, what's, what's the website? We'll make sure we get it in the notes. But uh, Okay, it's uh, uh, the genjikai.com. Yeah, genjikai.com. Okay. Yeah, so, right. so uh, yes. Uh, Do you tell stories in class? Because I, I, uh, I would come train you just for stories. <laughs> no, 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 no. Many, no. Many times people said, oh, yeah, another story. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried to behave myself. But uh, I like to somehow, you know, because no one did really help me other than karate mm -hmm. or the practice. So I didn't have, you know, the, the, the person who really come next to you and said, look, this you can do mm -hmm. or you doing this right. Uh, no one told me that. And then I, uh, after 23, 24 years old, I gone from my country and then my family, I left. Uh, so I'm just myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, all the time, yes, there are lots of friends and then lots of students also say, you're great. Well, they also say that, you know. <laughs> I don't take anything seriously about what they said. You don't know. <laughs> that's what, that's what I always say. They said, what do you mean? I said, you will know. <laughs> so, so, but uh, the, I, yeah, so that's why I, I thought, you know, thank you for asking me for that. So I got a chance to uh, tell my uh, of course, thank you. little, thank little, you. little, 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 little Makio, Nakio. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did a good job. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being uh, here. Yeah. Was, yeah. This, was, this was a lot of fun. This yeah. was a good one. I, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't talk uh, too much. <laughs> It's your episode. You're, if you don't talk, that means I have to, and that kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, I don't you. think I've laughed this much on an episode in a long time. Oh, oh you are, you yeah, are but, funny. Yeah, yeah but, but yeah, my story is all fun. I, in, yes. in my school, I yeah. try to keep my students laughing and happy because yeah. I believe they learn better. <laughs> when we're when we're laughing, when we're yeah. happy when we're paying attention we're engaged we right. can pay better attention right. we can learn easier right. that's true which uh, is kind of counter to uh -huh. karate but yes yes yes, yes. my students but, uh, learn uh, quickly right. yeah i think you know that, that uh, yes that, that, that uh, practice is all so you just you know continue to do so because you can explain what colors of the sunset is, mm. you know, you have to look at it. So, so the, I, 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 I treat the karate and tai chi same way. Just watch. Mm. You will see the difference every day, right? Sure. Um, so, but uh, the, uh, fortunately, I find the martial art is my life. And then same. that's, uh, yeah, that's uh, the, you know, change everything.
So, uh, and very fortunate, very lucky, very happy. Yeah. Yes, yes. And then thank you for having me of today. Of course, thanks, thanks for being here. Uh, this, was, this was a good time. It's a too crazy story. Yeah. Story.